the Biden administration is increasing border enforcement in the hopes of deterring migration to the U.S. The move comes amid a 21-year high of migrant arrests, as well as concerns about the rapidly spreading coronavirus Delta variant. Authorities are now flying Central American migrants deep into Mexico under a Trump-era public health order known as Title 42. Last week, the Biden administration extended Title 42 indefinitely. The efforts are more strict than the Biden administration's original border policy, which previously focused on expanding asylum capacity and getting children out of detention centers. For more on all of this, I want to bring in CBS News immigration reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez. Hi there, Camilo. So what will these measures look like for people trying to enter the U.S.? Hi, Elaine. Under one new initiative, U.S. border officials are flying Central American families deep into the Mexican interior under the Trump-era Title 42 Public Health Authority, which, as you mentioned, was extended indefinitely last week by the Biden administration. Department of Homeland Security officials told us that this policy change is designed to curb repeat border crossing attempts by migrant families, as well as the spread of the coronavirus Delta variant. As part of another initiative that is taking in place in the, the past few days, the U.S. has restarted so-called expedited removal flights to Central American uh, countries for some families. So some families are being placed in these fast-track deportation proceedings if they don't ask for asylum or if they fail their initial asylum screenings with U.S. officers. We know that the U.S. has already carried out six of these deportation flights to Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador and has deported more than 200 parents and children under this procedure, which allows them to bypass the U.S. immigration court system. As part of a third initiative, U.S. border officials are now referring adults who cross the border multiple times for criminal prosecution. Uh, this is designed, again, to curb repeat border crossing attempts, which the Biden administration says is inflating border apprehension numbers, which are incredibly high right now, Elaine. So all of these enforcement efforts mark a significant shift in the Biden administration's immigration policy. As we have discussed on multiple occasions for the past six months, the Biden administration has really focused on expediting the release of unaccompanied children, on expanding access to asylum, and rescinding some Trump-era policies, such as the Remain in Mexico program for asylum seekers. So, Camilla, with all of that in mind, what is behind the timing of the administration's decision? Why ramp up deportations and prosecutions now? That's the key question. As you know, uh, in July, border officials likely made more than 210,000 migrant apprehensions. That is a level of arrest that we have not seen here in the U.S. since 2000, so over two decades of land. That is concerning the Biden administration, but also Republicans who have criticized this, this government uh, for what they see as lax immigration enforcement measures. We also know that many Border Patrol facilities, which are currently operating under limit, limited capacity, are over capacity uh, because of the number of unaccompanied children, families, and single adults coming across the U.S.-Mexico border. And now, to top it all off, we also have the concern about this rapidly spreading Delta variant. And border officials are concerned about a significant increase in the rate of infection among migrant families. So all of these factors are prompting the Biden administration to take a tougher approach at the U.S.-Mexico border. Well, immigration had been a point of criticism for the left and the right um, for the Biden administration. Camilo, mm -hmm. what is the gist of those criticisms and what are they proposing in terms of solutions? Yeah, the Biden administration, Elaine, is really dealing with this balancing act of sorts when it comes to border policy. On the left, the administration has been criticized by groups like the American Civil Liberties Union for not expanding access to asylum even more, uh, for not allowing all asylum seekers to request U.S. refuge, for indefinitely extending this Title 42 public health authority, which bars migrants from seeking asylum here in the U.S. But on the right, Republicans have said that 
the rise in border apprehensions is a resu direct result, rather, of the Biden administration's reversals of Trump-era policies, such as the Remain in Mexico program, which required asylum petitioners to wait in Mexico for the duration of their immigration proceedings. But the Biden administration has said that this is not directly their fault, that there are root causes of migration in Central America, such as back-to-back -back hurricanes last year in the region, the pandemic-induced economic recession in those countries, as well as decades-old problems with insecurity, violence, and why spread poverty, especially in countries like Guatemala. Uh, so that it's the Biden administration's argument that they are tackling the root causes of migration from that region. But now, as we have discussed previously, they are shifting to implementing some of these more enforcement-minded strategies to try to deter illegal migration. And Camila, what are the Biden administration's long-term policy goals for the southern border? Well, Biden administration officials have said that they don't believe immigration to the U.S.-Mexico border will ever end. So they always expect some migrants to come here to the U.S.-Mexico border. And unlike the Trump administration, they have said that those who come should be allowed to seek asylum. However, as we have seen, the Biden administration argues that this is not the case during a global pandemic because certain public health measures have to be taken, and that will obviously restrict asylum access. Uh, but the overall theme of the Biden administration's border policy is to, one, open access to the U.S. asylum system albeit, um, gradually, but also to tackle the root causes of migration uh, from Central America. But again, we know that now the administration, just like the Obama and Trump administrations, is facing uh, the very formidable task of trying to deal with incredibly high numbers at the border. Formidable indeed. Camilo Montoya Galvez for us. Camilo, thank you very much. Thanks, Elaine.